Steele is joining the party, and um, she sat down with the cast from uh, the new Star Wars film. And clearly, there's a reason why you brought Kevin, that laser. This it you. lightsaber. This is the very lightsaber that Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill, and Daisy Ridley just gave me a Jedi lesson with. And Kevin, let's just say the Force is now strong at entertainment tonight. This is a strong stance, like heavy in your feet, mm -hmm. weighty, mm -hmm. like that. What's like the thought? What's the vibe? The thought is, you just hurt my friend. You're gonna, you're gonna pay. <laughs> So you can't really tell from that behind the scenes moment, but Daisy mastered her saber skills at light speed, according to her trainer. Tougher to deal with was the loss of Carrie Fisher, who makes her last appearance in the franchise. What was your favorite memory of working with her on the film? The first time around, there was a behind the scenes release where me and her were dancing between takes, and this time uh, captured us singing between takes. So it was probably that. It was a sort of sense of just joy that she to set. We had a lot of our scenes together. I'd hold out my hand and we would dance a little bit. The Last Jedi continues the Skywalker saga with Rey and Luke joining forces. John Boyega is back as Finn and Laura Dern joins the cast. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. So what scares this Jedi Master in real life? The paparazzi. He's gone to great lengths to avoid them, even faking an illness. My daughter Chelsea said, Dad, get in the wheelchair and take the dog on your lap. It sort of backfired, and all these papers started writing stories about, you know, that I was in ill health and, you know, on death's door. But nobody cares about this. Just, oh, poor you. You have fans. Cry me a river, big baby.